good morning students very good morning to one and all once again i welcome all of you to our online lecture session 2020 as you know that already we have started a new lesson of second semester okay a plastic bags on their way out and we have completed three learning plans of the same today we'll be starting with the fourth one so the fourth one is converting sentences so let's begin with begin with the fourth one okay converting sentences so aim of this particular session is that once you uh, once you complete this particular lesson you will be able to convert sentences from one from to another okay A notebook and excel content book these are the things which we required to complete this particular lesson so let's begin what are the different types of sentences what punctuations do we use in each type of sentence let's understand the different type of sentences there are four types of sentences okay first one is a declarative declarative means which makes a statement and ends with a full stop we are going to see each and every types example second one is interrogative sentence which ask a question and ends with a question mark okay these are the punctuation marks which we use in each type of sentence exclamatory sentence that is a statement that shows strong emotion and has an exclamation mark and imperative sentence which gives a direction or command which gives a direction or command wherein we use full stop correct so these are the basic four types of sentences declarative interrogative exclamatory and imperative so let's understand each and every sentence type one by one so here we go first one is a declarative sentence okay it's a declarative sentence it makes a statement and ends with a full stop you can see here full stop okay small dot is nothing but a full stop so it's simply a statement declarative declarative means to declare to declare something we use a statement okay like my name is i live in america like that it can be it's a simply declaration okay which is going to end with a full stop for example she is a good friend of mine she is a good friend of mine this declaration can be either positive or can be negative also okay because it's a declaration wherein you can speak about your likes and dislikes as well they'll reach there in the evening they will reach there in the evening they'll reach there in the evening she did her homework and went to play she did her homework and went to play she did her homework and went to play so next one is when can their glory fade can you see this sentence very very clearly okay so now tell me how can we convert the sentence into a declarative sentence do you have any idea now only we have seen first type declarative we have to make a statement the given sentence is an interrogative sentence okay so this is an interrogative sentence that can be changed to declarative sentence 
without changing its meaning. Do remember, we are not supposed to change its meaning. By answering the question it asks, a negative question must have a positive answer. And a positive question must have a negative answer. The interrogative sentence, when can their glory fade? In the declarative form, is their glory, their glory can never fade. In interrogative, we have written like this, when can their glory fade? But in a simple statement, in a declarative form, it is their glory can never fade. Here we have written interrogative because question mark is there question is there. So their gl glory can never fade. This is the declarative form. Understood? Next one is interrogative sentence. Interrogation means nothing but to ask a question. It asks a question and ends with a question mark. You can see this question mark. We know question mark how it looks. For example, what time do you get up in the morning? It's a question. So we have given here question mark. Do you like reading fantasy novels? Once again, question. We want some information from someone. So here question mark is there. How do you know that she is not coming to the party? How do you know that she is not coming to the party? Question mark. Okay. So whenever you will get any question mark in any sentence you have to understand the given sentence type is nothing but it's an interrogative sentence okay it's an interrogative sentence now here you can see they have given one simple statement a simple sentence has been given okay it is very very simple okay speak loudly can you see here speak loudly okay so now how can we convert it into an interrogative sentence already we have seen interrogation how to do it so we have to make statement which will be a question okay an imperative sentence can be converted to an interrogative sentence by adding a question word and a subject to the sentence okay so here they have not given any subject so we'll add one subject the imperative sentence speak loudly in the interrogative form is will you speak loudly we have added one subject you okay and we have taken will Will you speak loudly? Okay. This is the question now. Good. Third imperative sentence. It gives a command or makes a request and ends with a full stop. Command or request can be made with the help of imperative sentence. Okay. So it is in Hindi it is known as Agyakari Vakya. It means it gives orders or command or request. Okay, see the examples. Clean the room. Second, put the glass in the sink. Third, please lower your voice. Clean the room. Put the glass in the sink. Please lower your voice. Okay, so these are the three examples of imperative sentence. These are the three examples of imperative sentence. Now, can you see this sentence? Will you stop it? How can we convert it into an imperative sentence? Will you stop it? Okay. So now an interrogative sentence can be converted to an imperative sentence by removing the question mark okay or this question word and the subject from the sentence okay the interrogative sentence will you stop it in the form of 
is in the form is stop it okay now it can be stop it we have to remove the subject and we have to remove the question mark and it will be simply an imperative sentence order command would be there or a request would be there it is simply like this stop it okay in question it is will you stop it in order stop it like that understood very good last one type which is exclamatory sentence it expresses strong feelings and ends with an exclamation mark something good happen something shocking happens to us at that time we just say something quickly or we express our feelings very quickly so that time we use this type of sentence exclamatory sentence okay with this exclamation mark at the end it's a beautiful day i wish i win a million dollars what a lovely sight okay you can see at the every sentence at the end of the every sentence there is a exclamatory mark okay these are all statements which are like expressing strong feelings it's a beautiful day i wish i win a million dollars what a lovely sight what a lovely sight so just see this sentence how beautiful the house is how beautiful the house is okay now we are supposed to change this into a declarative okay we have already seen exclamatory and all the types now change it to declarative how we can change it to declarative to convert an exclamatory sentence uh, to a declarative sentence take out words like what and how and use words like very or extremely okay if they have used what and how we have to remove those words and instead we have to use very or extremely the exclamatory sentence how beautiful the house is is in the declarative form now it changes to the house is very beautiful it's a simple statement understood students very nice now homework simple homework you have to complete you can see we have already completed all the types also okay so we can easily understand this question number 10 so you have to complete answers or practice question 10 from the exit content book understood this is the simple homework so thank you so much for watching this video carefully Just complete your homework and send it to me before 5 p.m. today itself. Thank you so much. Have a great day to all of you.